Topping our news this morning, a Gora man accused of kidnapping and torturing a North Conway teenager has been indicted on more than 200 charges, including 16 counts of felonious sexual assault. Kind of hit home that, you know, it, it can happen to anybody, I guess, anywhere. Nathaniel Kibbe is accused of holding the teen captive for nine months. He was arrested in July and is being held on a million dollars bail. It is WMUR's policy to not identify alleged victims of sexual assault. And Ray Brewer joins us live. He's in Concord right now, where investigators held a rare news conference on this case yesterday. The Attorney General's office says because the search for this North Conway teen was so public, the scrutiny so intense when she returned home, they felt compelled to address these newly released documents. We want to warn you, though, that the details are disturbing. Court documents now reveal that the young girl was kidnapped and taken to a trailer in Gorm where she was held prisoner for nine months. According to investigators, the teen's eyes were taped shut. She was bound with zip ties, shocked with a taser dozens of times, and sexually assaulted repeatedly. Her alleged captor, Nathaniel Kibbe, is charged with 205 crimes. The most disturbing details are removed from the documents. Releasing the graphic details contained in the sexual assault in the other two indictments will cause further trauma and humiliation to the child in this case. The documents say the shipping container near Kibby's trailer is where he kept the 14-year-old girl. He allegedly made her clean the walls in an attempt to erase her fingerprints and at times allegedly tied her to the bed. Her only access to water through an aquarium tube. Several of the charges relate to a letter sent to the victim's mother two weeks after she vanished. The court documents allege the teen was forced to write the letter and punished with a taser when Kibby discovered she'd carved a message to her mother in the letter. Investigators hope the release of the documents will put an end to public speculation. I've had the opportunity to meet and to speak with the child victim in this case. She continues to heal and to thrive now that she is reunited with her family. As she is in her home, Kibbe faces charges both in Carroll County for the alleged kidnapping and also in Coas County for the alleged sexual assaults. Arraignments are scheduled for January. Reporting live in Concord, Ray Brewer, WMUR News 9.